<laughs> welcome back to another YouTube video. It's Friday morning right now and I am actually getting ready for my mom and my aunt to come visit this weekend. So they, my mom just texted me that they got off the train, they're waiting for a cab. And um, so my mom and my auntie Lisa, my auntie Lisa is my mom's best friend. Um, they've been friends since college and they have this really great friendship. Um, you actually would have seen my auntie Lisa in a vlog that I did this summer where I went up to a baby shower for Anna, who is my auntie Lisa's daughter. So yeah, so they're coming and I'm really excited to have them. I mean, I don't know, it just makes my heart so warm that they're going to be coming. They're going to be staying here, so they're going to be taking over my apartment. I'm going to give them my spare set of keys and they're going to stay here and I'm going to stay the night at Wiles, but definitely gonna hang out with them and do some stuff. Um, so yeah, we've got a lot planned. We're gonna go see Wicked on Broadway and gonna take them to some like, you know, local restaurants and all of like the stuff. So I'm really excited to host them as well. Um, I like put out some towels for them and like, putting some clean sheets on right now. I got them some waters <laughs> in the fridge. Um, I got, I like baked some bread. I have like some muffins and stuff. Um, I bought from Levain, which is such a good bakery. Yeah, so I'm really excited. I'm just gonna put my shoes on because they should be here if they're getting a cab. They should be here in probably like, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. So I'll probably help them bring their luggage up. And yeah, it's gonna be a really fun weekend. So I'm really excited and it's beautiful fall weather. The tree outside is starting to turn. Not that it's like a maple tree or anything that has like leaves, but you can see it's like getting a little bit yellow. So it's definitely fall time. We've got the fall garment rack and I'm really excited. <laughs> all day yesterday on Saturday but I was with the moms and we just had a nice day we did some shopping it's so hard to get them to buy stuff for themselves but they actually did very successful shopping trip we went up to Talbot's on the Upper West Side ah, it's starting to rain and then we went to Macy's in Herald Square which is the really big Macy's so that was great and then, um, let me think. Oh, and then after that, we just basically got lunch right near Bryant Park and then just came back, watched Netflix. And then last night we went to the Peking Duck House, which I would say is a very classic New York like restaurant. It's in Chinatown and they serve Peking Duck 
and it is so good. So it was really fun to take them there. And Lyle came to dinner as well, so it's the four of us. And then this morning, I'm just walking back from Lyle's. I'm in my cute little outfit from last night because um, I've been staying at Lyle's while my mom and Auntie Lisa are at my place. And I'm just going back, I'm gonna get changed. And it's raining today, I don't have an umbrella. I feel like I'm ruining my shoes. But, uh, ooh, yes, I will <laughs> catch up with you when, in, when I'm not out in the rain. evening now and we just got back from the Met it was really nice great to see all of the artwork we saw impressionist Egyptian Roman we saw modern art sculptures it was really cool but now we're just getting ready we're going to go see Wicked tonight so I'm really excited we're just picking out outfits getting ready and then Kendall's gonna come meet us we're gonna go to dinner um, and I'm thinking about wearing this skirt from Zara. It's uh, very kind of like a pretty green color. Hard to see on camera, but it's very wrinkly. So I'm just going to steam that real quick. And then I can't wait to see a Broadway show. It's one of those things that I never really get to do that often. So it should be really fun. And Wicked is supposed to be amazing. I've always wanted to see it. So it'll be really fun. a little bit since I checked in but it's uh, Monday now and actually I have the day off from work today's the 11th <laughs> of October basically and my um, my mom and Auntie Lisa are still here they're at Zara right now but I took some time to just you know do my skincare get ready for the day make my to-do list last night Wicked was amazing I mean it was such a good show and so it's like I think everything is inspiring but it was inspiring I love the little friendship between them and just like the story it was like the whole background on before the Wizard of Oz on like Glinda and the Wicked Witch of the West and how she kind of became 
that and how like the Tin Man and the Lion and the Scarecrow and everything kind of happened. It's funny, I'll never look at the, mo the movie The Wizard of Oz the same. But yeah, and um, before that, Kendall came up and met us and then we went to dinner at Junior's, which is just kind of like a little cafe nearby. It was about a block or so away from the theater, so it was just really convenient and easy. So we went early, got dinner first so that we weren't like starving. And then the show was amazing. Um, so it kind of makes me wonder why don't I go to Broadway shows more often I think I have it in my mind that it's so touristy and I'm like uh, I don't want to do that you know but I think I need to like actually think about it and be like no like what other shows do I want to see and like I should take advantage of the fact that I mean I live it's right here you know and it's such an amazing thing to have so now I'm like hmm, what other shows do I want to see um, but it is really exciting that Broadway is finally back. I feel like it was one of those things where with uh, COVID, it was one of those like final things to really come back to the city. And um, it's so important to the like economy in New York and everything. And obviously the actors and actresses getting work back and everything. So, I mean, it's just really great. And you can kind of feel like the excitement of everyone that's there and um, people that truly love to go see shows and stuff. So. Yeah, I thought it was really fun. And then today, I basically just put together a to-do list of things that I need to get done. So, I'm going to be doing my French homework. I'm going to assemble. So I got this cabinet. It's basically in two boxes right now because I haven't taken it out yet because as soon as I do, it's going to get everywhere. But I got it at Wayfair and it's this box here and then that box there and it's basically going to be like a little mini kind of cabinet thing that i'm going to put in this corner right here and finally take away all of my spices and stuff and then i did order my wallpaper for this wall above my desk and it's supposed to be delivered tomorrow so i'm like dang it i wish i could do that project today since i have the whole day off but that's okay i think with the hutch um, why am I calling it a hutch? I think it's like with a cabinet. With the cabinet, that's gonna be a big project on its own. So, well, I'm just seeing my neighbor in the window and I'm like, oh, it's weird. I don't like being able to see them and then <laughs> being able to see me. But anyways, okay. So yeah, I'm going to assemble some stuff and just, I don't know, try to enjoy the day off. It's really nice. It's like a cold fall day. It's like very sweater weather outside, so. It's a day to definitely just cozy up. Maybe I'll watch a movie later or something tonight. Also on my to-do list, I need to go grocery shopping. Plan my Thursday video. <sighs> and then just some other, you know, obligatory like errands, to-dos, that sort of thing. So the moms <laughs> texted me to ask if I wanted to get lunch with them. And they're going to a place right up here called Jack's Rice Freedom. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to go meet them there and we're going to have lunch. Auntie Lisa just left so I just said goodbye to them it was really sweet I really am gonna miss having them here it's fun to have the girls around and just you know to have a nice weekend and um, to see them it was really nice having them here so just said goodbye to them they went up to Penn Station and they're gonna take the train back and um, Jack's wife Frida was really good for lunch I had the shakshuka and the waiter recommended, he was like, my recommendation, if you're gonna get the, get the shakshuka, is to get um, avocado and feta added to it. And that was such a good recommendation because it was so good. 
and also I'm really glad that we went there too because I met um, a subscriber I met a girl who watches my videos she was so nice she came up to me and said hi and it was really sweet um, I also met another subscriber on Friday too so I guess it's just the weekend of getting to meet a lot of you guys which just makes me so happy I feel like every time that happens I'm like what people know who I am like this <laughs> this is so strange it's like not that it's strange I'm just like and like this is crazy but anyways so now I am just going to assemble I did my French homework I have French class later tonight so it's just you know nice to have today off and then take a class later nice to not be stressed out with work and to have a shorter work week so since I have some time today, I'm actually going to finally assemble my cabinet. So, yeah, when I opened this up, I thought I was going to do this Thursday night before they got here. So that, like, it would be done and, like, that corner would look better. But when I opened it up, the directions were so long and I was like this is way too complicated it's 10 30 p.m. at night <laughs> I'm not gonna start this now so yes open this up and... <laughs> oh man okay so this is the deal here tell this is going to be like styrofoam everywhere box one of two lovely yes because I have another box <laughs> Right there. Ugh, wish me luck. I see you wherever I go, and you don't even know. You are the stranger in the corner on the second floor. You're the girl next door, the girl next door. The stranger in the corner on the second floor. You're the girl next door. I know you're miles away from me. But still I dream of you and say your name in my sleep Tell me isn't that crazy Just wanna call you up and tell you how I feel I see you wherever I go And you don't even know You are the stranger in the corner on the second floor You're the girl next door Just call you up I'm alone in room 308 Yeah, are you awake? Wish I could call you I'm gonna call you You are the stranger in the corner On the second floor You're the girl next door The girl next door Alright, so here it is I uh, had to prop it up on some books down there Underneath it because this floor is so slanted that it needed to be kind of like pushed back at the top a little bit and um I think it's nice like it doesn't really fit perfectly in that corner like if you look over here you can see like the cabinet behind there so it's a little bit frustrating but I mean all in all I really don't hate it I think it's kind of cozy having like a little cabinet right next to my desk and if I need anything else like desk wise I can put it in the cabinet and I can hide stuff away I'm just so glad that my spice rack is not on the wall anymore and I put it in here so I just have it in here like this for now but I'm going to get some type of like a spice rack organizer I don't know I've seen some cool things that people have done where like you open up the drawer and you can see like all of the labels on top I don't know if I'd go that far but maybe I'd get like at least some type of a thing where it's like a spinny thing so that I don't have to like lift up every single one of these and be like where's the like you know parsley or something you know <laughs> so just something where it'd be a little bit easier to see everything so I'm gonna look on Amazon and see what there is 
And then I'm actually not sure what I'm going to put in the rest of this, but it's definitely going to be a good just like hide it all away spot. And then, oh my gosh, I like, I totally wasn't even expecting, but I opened up my door and I saw that this had been dropped off. It's from Love vs. Design and this is my wallpaper. So I'm really excited. It's in a cute little pink box. <sighs> I just don't know if I have the energy to put it up today, but it would be like getting it all done. And then I also have the shelving the bookshelves to put up here as well so things are starting to come all together but that was definitely a big project all right so now for the big reveal of which wallpaper i chose actually i can't even remember if i already mentioned it or not so it might not be a huge reveal but let's see um oh Oh, oh, there it is. Dun, dun, dun. This one. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, I don't know, flowers. And I like modified it so that some of them were pink. Because I just thought that it worked. And now I have the huge task of putting it up. But yeah, it looks like these are the different panels. Like this is the first panel. That's the next panel. And then they're like really long. So... We'll see how this goes. I've heard that it can be difficult to put wallpaper up, <laughs> but um, yes. It's actually later in the week now, and I totally realized that I never said goodbye. So <laughs> basically, after you know looking at the wallpaper, I realized not the project for today, and I, I think just ate dinner and went to bed. So nothing really exciting, but thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I really hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, of course and check out the fashion squirrel and hopefully i will see you guys next time okay bye